my children i hope you all are doing good last class that is in the online session i had uh, taken up from lesson number 12 our villages i hope you all have understood what is the difference between village and city now i'm going to recap by reading out the lesson and i'm going to explain it once again from lesson number 12 our villages that is India is a big country. You all know we live in India and our country is big. Most of its population lives in villages. As I told you that you all would have visited villages and most of the people you find in villages too. The life of village is very simple and quite different from that of towns. Now what is this towns, cities and villages? I'll explain you. Village is smaller than town and town is smaller than city and we all live in city. You see big big buildings in city and in villages you see small houses and you see people working there in wheels, they plow crops in the field and who plows a crop? The farmer. I show you the pick of the farmer. Look here, children. He is a farmer. He plowing the field in the field. And what is this cattle? With the help of the cattle. And farmer. He is a hard worker. He grows crops, fruits. Vegetables for whom? For us, which will come from village to the city. Isn't it? Now, also the farmers work in village. They weave clothes. I hope the picture is clear. Yeah. They do fishery. They do fishing to live their livelihood. The people in village, this is the way they do the weaving. Weaving the clothes. And also they do carpentry, what is it? They do carpentry work. Because 
they grow crops. There are plenty of plants, different types of plants. So everywhere it is greenery and we get fresh air there. Isn't it children? Now, I'll move on. People there live in very small houses and it is all made up of mud, straw or bamboo. They are called kacha houses. Okay, usually made up of, as I said, bamboo, mud and straw. As I showed in the last week uh, on my online session, you all know what was the material used to make, what do you say, kacha house. Most of the villages are farmers, I just, I just told you now, I showed you the picture. Village in village you find farmers. What all they do? They spend time by what? They spend time by, as I showed you the picture, in the picture, they spend time by looking their fields, cattle, fishing, weaving, carpentry and handicraft are some of their occupations practiced in villages. Now, this session what I did for you, the recording session was the recap of the lesson what I begin. Now, the next session I will be continuing with the next point that is next unit. Now, before we, uh, what I say, before we go on to the next unit, I will, I uh, say, be starting with a small activity, okay, which I want you all to be a part of it. See, here, children, I would like to show you, and here I have drawn for you, I have made a chart here. Yeah, only for your sake, this is done. Okay, my, what to say, my daughter has helped me to color all this for your, for you people. And this is the village atmosphere. You see everywhere greenery. Okay, and see the houses here. Not big, big buildings. They all are made up of mud, straw, and bamboo. Bamboo. You see well here and river. You see greenery and see her. The cattle here and the cart. Such a simple life, isn't it? They don't have in the medical facility what we have here in the city. So next class, I'll be asking you about what facility, what I say they, what I say they have there in the village, and what facility we have in the city. We'll be talking about that in the next class. Before that, I have a small activity for you all. I want you all to be engaged with the, with this activity. One second. I have a cheat here. Okay. In this activity, I'm going to show you a few pics here. That is few uh, the chicks. From this, I want you all to segregate or differentiate between which belongs to city and which belongs to village. You write it down. When the school reopens, you can submit the activity. So here is air pollution and noise pollution. Air pollution and noise pollution, you need to guess and differentiate where for which this belongs to, village or city. Next comes here is traffic. This you have to differentiate which it belongs to. It belongs to village or city. Next comes malls. Where do we find the malls? Yeah. So you need to do this activity and get back to me when the school reopens and you need to submit, write the date. Factories. As I said you, factories causes air pollution. Though it is helpful for us, we get so many things from factories. But even then, what is it? Because of the smoke we get from the factories, it is what is falling on nature. It is affecting our nature. This is deforestation. In village you see greenery, but in cities, everywhere they are cutting down trees and they are building apartments, malls, big big buildings everywhere. So where we are getting fresh air from? So we are not finding fresh air. It is artificial air what we use fan. And where do you find the pedestrian walk? 
you find it in village or city where do we get the pure cow milk the fresh milk early in the morning they come and what to say they come and give it to houses where do we get from Where do you find the ponds and rivers? Yes, you need to write it down in the column of village or city. Fresh air. Wherever there is greenery, we get fresh air. When we go to park, obviously we get fresh air in the city where it is very, 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 very most of the plants are are still found that is in the park. So sometimes people go to walk there also find, but. the fresh air the natural air what to say the especially we find it in the villages because there are most of plants and trees over there where is the calm environment do we find the calm environment in city or village crops in the field where where do we get this crops from last left out let me see which this belongs to that you have to decide who wells i just showed you in the picture which i had drawn for you people i showed you well where where do you find wells okay children this was the activity for you and this recapture uh, session for you all i hope you all have understood the differentiation the differentiation between the village and uh, city there are many more to be what to say you people have to go and uh, what is it to learn so i'll be getting back to you in the next session recording session now i'll be taking leave thank you have a nice day thank you ma'am